Hi guys, welcome to the Chart.js video. In this video, I'm going to integrate the Chart.js into the Laravel application. So my name is Tayad Niazi and I'm going to work through with the step-by-step -step guide that how you can integrate these charts into the any of the Laravel version. So currently I'm using Laravel 12, which is our recent version of Laravel and I'm going to integrate these charts. So I have prepared the code here so i'm going to work through with the step-by-step -step guide so here i have prepared one route which contain this chart controller having open chart to page method which is basically getting the users so here i'm getting the user their first uh, first uh, character then i'm basically converting this into the uppercase and then um, marking as initial and then count all of its occurrence right and then marking a total then grouping them and then ordering uh, from a to z then i'm just pulling those two values total and initials here i'm passing the keys and keys are basically the values a b c right and then these are the values uh, which will be assigned to these abc variables so these are the keys and these are their values so this is called label and this is called data so i want to display them uh, display on the charts so in here i have different kinds of chart a pie chart a do not chart bar chart and a line chart so we can create these charts based on our need if you have if you need only pie charts we can use only pie chart right i'm using these four charts and uh, using one script to load all of these charts so how i'm doing that so here i'm passing the keys and values to this uh, charts page which is a blade file and uh, by the way these are the 100 uh, users i have seeded them using the database seeder and you can seed them according to your need so this one is a default laravel welcome page where i have uncovered our charts added a bootstrap cdn and then this logic i have added which is very simple i have added our two rows uh, First, first row contain the pie chart and another row contain the uh, another, uh, same container contain this uh, do not chart and another contain the bar chart line chart and that's it right and then i have a script which i'm going to explain to you okay so very first thing is i have a heading of pie charts uh, this one and then i have a canvas which have id of pie chart and there is a height so this height is deciding that uh, what should be the height of that chart right and uh, then i'm calling this id here in the script right i'm calling this uh, here this one right okay uh, and uh, i am doing the same for other charts i have id i have a height heading and then canvas heading and canvas with the different id so i'm using four types of charts right okay so very first thing is i have added this chart dot js cdn which is required to load these charts and then here i'm accepting my php variable which i'm passing here these labels and data here right and converting them into the js variable right i'm encoding them into the js okay good now what i'm doing here i'm basically creating a config helper config function to accept the different kinds of types i have a do not chart i have a bar chart line chart and a pie chart right so here i'm basically defining the type right this one is a type and then i'm saying that whatever the type is accept that then here i'm passing the labels so this is label property and passing the labels this variable and then this data set data set contain the users label so if i go here and click anywhere so you can see this it's highlighting this users six user two so this one is a user key if i say here post 
it will become paused okay let's get refresh and just you can see this it's become paused now right so this one is a label another one is data which i'm getting it from the back end and passing this to this data right okay and then i'm applying these background color so i have multiple colors i'm using here so i'm basically using these colors in all of the charts right okay and then i'm using this border so the border or something like this these borders these borders uh, if i make them a bit more thicker so you can see this and yes you can see this now it's using these border right but i don't want to do this because it's not look so cool so now you can see this it's now looks cool right it looks very nice so that's why i made this border width one then there's the option of responsive so you want to make them responsive you made this false so it will uh, maybe work something differently right based on your device size if you are on the mobile device it will not work as you are expecting right but if you will make it responsive so it will be automatically adjust according to the screen size right if you are on the mobile so it will be aligned into the mobile device size right so that's the main purpose of this responsive key okay and then there is a, pl a plugin which is holding this legend and it's showing that uh, position left what is that basically it's this one this one and this user key user and this one so where you want to align that if you want to align them on the right side save and refresh so it will be aligned on the right side you can see this it's now appeared on the right and this one is also appear on the right if you want to make this to the top so you can also do that refresh and yes you can see this now it's added on the top it's also added on the top uh, and if you want to do here if you want to make it on the full uh, row so then it will look more clear and more visible uh, more uh, appearance wise good right it looks more prettier right okay good if you want to unselect some of the uh, numbers you can do them something like this right okay good job you can also appear them again something like this or you can see this m n z you can close this c w u r d something like this right so this is a main thing here you can position it and then it's um, basically defining the type you want to use the uh, pie chart or do not chart and the main thing is happening here which is rendering these kind of four charts so basically we are creating uh, initializing the chart to class and then we are passing the id of our chart basically we are getting this id through our html this bar chart and then we are getting it through the element getting its canvas and then passing to this chart js this is the first parameter and the second parameter we are passing is the type we are passing config bar so this config is something like this we are calling this config and passing this type right so for bar chart we are passing the bar for line chart we are passing the line pie chart do not chart and so on things so in this way you can uh, render your charts into the different uh, and you can basically modify your settings according to your need right uh, sometimes we need to uh, these bar charts in a in a different uh, way like we want to adjust them at the top so you can adjust their keys at the top uh, you can align them into the bottom too and so on so there are various options you can play around with this one and add your additional functionality here you can add your custom colors here custom keys custom position and so on things so this is the overall video where i shown that how you can basically work on these charts i'll push that code into my github repositories you can get it from here uh, so most probably i'll name this something like uh, this you can come from here uh, mm, chart js 
chart js in laravel i'll name something like this or you can check out from my github repository github.com slash adinyazi so you can find this charts so i'll see you guys in the next video and if you like that please uh, hit the like button and share your feedback in the comment box i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye